Remember, remember the 5th of November. So I read the former United States is so desperate for medical supplies that allegedly they have sent several containers filled with wheat and tobacco. A gesture, they said, of goodwill. You want to know what I think? Since you're listening to my show, I'll assume you do. I think it's high time we let the colonists know what we really think of them. I think it's payback time for a little tea party they threw for us a few hundred years ago. I say we go down to those docks tonight and dump that crap where everything from the ulcered sphincter of our Sarica belongs. Who's with me? Who's bloody with me? Did you like that? Ulcered sphincter of our Sarica? I mean, what can you say? Here is a country that had everything, absolutely everything, and now, 20 years later, is what? The world's biggest leper colony. Why? Godlessness. Let me say that again. Godlessness. It wasn't the war they started. It wasn't the plague they created. It was judgment. No one escapes their past. No one escapes judgment. You think he's not up there now? You think he's not watching over this country? How else can you explain it? He tested us, but we came through. We did what we had to do. Islington, Infield, I was there. I saw it all. Immigrants, Muslims, homosexuals, terrorists, disease-ridden degenerates. They had to go. Strength through unity, unity through faith. I'm a God-fearing Englishman, and I'm goddamn proud of it. That'll be quite enough of that. Thank you very much. <laughs>